Life in a matter of seconds due to a fire is a hard task for anyone, but imagine loading up dozens of animals. That's what one rescue group faced a few days ago. News 13's Tess Roland tells us about their story of triumph and how members of the community made it all happen. Terrifying. The old saying, cats have nine lives, rings true for the salty cats of St. Andrew's Rescue Group. And the smoke was just rolling in. On Friday, flames from the Atkins Avenue fire came dangerously close to President Jackie Mahal's home. Within minutes, she had to evacuate dozens of cats, some feral and some sickly, with limited supplies and transport them to a friend's house in Fountain. She was able to do it with the help of three kind strangers. It's an absolute miracle that all 86 cats and one bunny made it out alive. It's definitely a miracle. I, I honestly don't know how I got them in their cages. And I don't know where those three guys came from, but they were placed there for a reason. Like many, Mahal stayed behind for Hurricane Michael, but she says experiencing the wildfire has been more traumatic. Fire comes out of nowhere. I mean, it moved so quickly and the smoke was just engulfing the building. The animals feel the same. He's actually so stressed he's pulled his hair out. As of now, the buildings for the cat rescue are still intact, but with the wildfire raging on, that may not be the case for long. Mahal says she's still looking at thousands of dollars in damage. All their cat towers, their beds, their blankets um, have to be thrown out. Reporting in Bay County, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Amazing situation there. All the cats you saw in the video are up for adoption, and the Salty Cats of St. Andrews is accepting donations. If you'd find out, like to find out how you can help out, you can go to our website, mypanhandle.com.